this and uh, <coughs> almost taken. It's been moved around, but it's not indoors. Um, so I, I can say, I just say a few things. One is, it, as an artist, <coughs> Uh, the piece, the butt plug, is really about changing what it is. Uh, it, it, in school, I put it on a chair and said it was a Brancusi. And if you know the modernist artist Brancusi, it's a joke on modernism. <clears throat> and then, over a series of events, uh, the butt plug on the chair got broken off, ends up on my desk, and sits there as, uh, as an object on my desk. And then, at one point, a friend gives me a Santa Claus, a small Santa Claus, and um, it sits on my desk. And then at one point, months later, I realize that the plug fit over the top of the tree and if, from my point of view it then changed to a tree so the piece itself is about transformation one object becoming another object uh, the Santa Claus as it is was made for not this one the original one was made for Rotterdam and like he said it was smooth and I but it started out made in foam in foam and I left it outside as a foam object for two or three years again changing the object from what it was to be made into the Rotterdam piece into a new piece and I never thought that it would happen, that it, it would be molded and cast and um, end up in the public arena. And uh, here it is. The reason it's red, all red, is to change it into one object, where the butt plug or the face or the shoe or the bell all become a singular object. They're all one object. The butt plug is now part of the tree. The Brancusi is now part of the whole piece. So uh, it ultimately it becomes about, as an artist, it's, there's something about when you make a small thing and then 40 years later it exists as this in the middle of a city it never, from my point of view, had that intention. It's something that evolves over time. And uh, again, it's the process of making art and not the results. Okay, thanks.